Hi guys. I'm going to I'm going to talk to you today about well, controversy subject, you know, everybody has an opinion on it, so probably I will manage to piss someone off, but you know, I'm 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 fine with that. It's about editing. You know, editing photos, how much is too much? Is there anything that you could consider to be cheating? You know, th this topic, I've seen, you know, heated discussions about this stuff on, on Facebook, on social media. People have a strong opinion about this and uh, everybody thinks that their opinion is right, the right one. And personally, I don't care what other people do and how they edit their photos. But people do ask me about my opinion on the matter, and, and, and so here it goes. It's not like, you know, heavy photo manipulation is something new. That's, you know, it didn't come with Photoshop. You know, that it was uh, a thing long before that. But true, Photoshop does allow for a bit more manipulation. It's easier for, uh, for anyone to do it. But where is the limit? You know, and who decides the limit? Probably the best known landscape photographer, at least best known that I know of, is Ansel Adams. Ansel Adams, he used every tool available to him at that time to manipulate his photos. Here is Ansel Adams in front of one of his uh, most famous photos, Moonrise. So this early version of the image later became this. And there is no doubt in my mind which I like better. I like the edited one much better. That's, you know, it's it packs a punch, you know. The, uh, the, 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 the first one is like, you know, gray and uh, not, I don't like the, I don't like the first one. You know, I would never notice this picture, but I would notice this one. But let's do some examples of mine. Uh, here's a photo I took. This is a Northern Light photo, as you might notice, from Vik uh, in south of Iceland. This is a composite, so it's a it's an exposure stack. It's taken at the same time, and I I, I emphasize that you know it's take it's it's it, I, I shot those photos right after one another. So I took the Northern Light photo, then I exposed here another photo from for the town, because if you expose for the Northern Lights, the town is gonna be, the, the, the lights in the town is gonna blow up. You know, it's gonna be uh, uh, too bright. And that's ugly. So to get around my camera's limitation, I do two exposure and then I merge them in Photoshop, you know, mask them together in Photoshop. If you want to learn how to mask, uh, there's a link on how to mask here in the uh, corner of the screen. There's a video. I do use this method a lot. Uh, as sometimes, you know, it's not just Northern Lights, you know, it's just for, you know, if I'm shooting something with like, like the sky, if it's um, uh, if, if the sky is very bright and the, and, and the ground is dark. My camera doesn't have the sufficient dynamic range to catch all that in one frame, so I do this, or I use filter. Sometimes I do that. You can also see here in the corner when and how I use filter. That's also a video I made a while, ago, a, a while back. But what about this one? This one is a little more complex. Uh, it's, it's, it's exposure stacked, uh, like the for, first photo. Um, but there's also a focus stack. 
and uh, that means that my camera is really low and close to those methane bubbles and uh, the camera can ha can handle that to, to to make everything sharp through and through if you're that close to your subject so i needed to shoot uh, a few pictures from right in front of the camera and back I think I did like seven photos and then one I underexposed for the sky. So that, that's a composite also. But again, this is only done to get around the camera's limitation. You know, uh, if I'm that close to my foreground, everything is going to be very little part of the image is going to be in focus. You know. And I wanted everything sharp through and through. So, focus stack. And also, uh, I would have blown out the uh, clouds if I wouldn't have uh, exposed, especially for them. But it's taken again at the same exact time. And I do, I, I don't hear a lot of people complaining about either exposure stack or focus stack not really you know some some of the, some of, some people are against that but some people are against everything you know no need to listen to that but of course you know if you're if you're submitting your photos to a, a contest you know there are all kinds of rules different for every contest so that's going to be something you have to look for but but uh, in general I believe that this is widely accepted. Then we have this, another uh, Northern Light photo, a composite. Again, one for the ground and one for the Northern Light. Here's the twist. This is not taken at the same time. It's not taken at the same place. This is a composite, when, I'm, when I mean a composite, I'm talking about something like that, where I basically change the sky, you know, put northern light in pictures that were no northern lights in. And people do that, people go for, uh, uh, in the blue hour, you know, to, 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 get, to get a diffused ground and uh, shoot then, and they take another one if they get lucky with northern light later. The picture is sharper, you know, the picture is nicer if you do it like that. But please forgive me, this uh, composite is a little sloppy. Um, it's The edit is a, is a little uh, sloppy. I don't do this, so I didn't have like a ready uh, composite Northern Lights photo on, 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 on file. I just did this in like five minutes uh, for the sake of this video. But it still looks okay, you know. But imagine if I would give this image a little love and a little time. Nobody would nobody would know the difference. Maybe, you know, trained eye, if he knew what to look for, would probably see it, but uh, not really. It, it, it will pass. And here is when probably some people are gonna be, you know, pissed off with me because my personal humble opinion is this is not landscape photography. It's a landscape photo, but it's not landscape photography because landscape photography is so much more than the end result, the actual photo. It's the planning, it's the hiking, it's the it's the waiting, it's the disappointment, it's the joy of getting the shot. If everybody does this, everybody's getting the shot. You know, is and and I don't mind if uh, you know. Like I said, I don't mind other people doing this and other people can call it what they want. My opinion, I don't do it. I don't consider it landscape photography. What is it then? If not landscape photography, what is it? I would say digital art. And that's a 
beautiful thing, you know, why not do that? It's, 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 it's not a, you know, you, you go and shoot, you go out for a landscape shoot and you, you, you get material for your art. And I have no problem with that. I've done that. I just don't post these pictures as my landscape shots, you know. And I've never done it, done it with Northern Lights. Maybe in, in the future, I will do this. You know, I have photos, I have material that could last me a lifetime. So maybe, you know, uh, when I get fed up with all this shooting, I will just, you know, sit down and edit for a few years and make these kind of photos. The only problem I have with this is when people are trying to pass this as the real deal. You know, they're not honest about their work. It's not cheating. You know, who, who, who's these people cheating? You? Who are they cheating? You know, it's, it's not cheating. It's just dishonest. You know, that's that, that's not, that's a thing. You know. And the argument for uh, for landscape photographers, which are not doing this, is like, you know, we are putting in the work. You know, we are doing it uh, right, and uh, we are selling this as landscape photography. Then you bring in this digital art, and it's impossible to compete with. Again, if photographers are honest with the work, it's you know it's not an argument. You can do whatever you want, and you will, you can try to sell whatever you want. The market will decide if it's good or bad. You know, not some uh, individual photographers in every corner. So the market will decide. But look at this photo. This is a composite from my friend Edwin Martinez. He's a great landscape and travel photographer. Check out his work, his link is in the description. In this photo, it's clearly stated in the, in the bottom right corner that it is a composite, but it really, you know, it doesn't take a genius to figure it out. First of all, you know, it's a big city, it's big city lights and uh, it would probably be impossible to see the Northern Lights with all that light pollution. Second, it's Manila. Northern Lights in Manila. Think about it. Take all the time you need. But in this case, maybe it's a joke, you know, maybe it's a, it's a, he's making a point or just trying to create a cool photo, which is, which this is. What he's, he's not doing, he's not trying to hide it. He's completely honest about this work and that's fine. There's an exception with the, um, the landscape stuff. If you're doing commercial stuff, like if I, for example, if a company would approach me and said, Ole, I need this location, you know, this waterfall, and I want massive lights over it for an ad we're making. You know, I would not just camp out there at that location and wait for this to happen. It might never happen. I would just go and make a nice photo of the uh, waterfall or the location they wanted. Then I would just go through my files and find a nice uh, Northern Lights shot and I would just composite it. It's not landscape photography. It's a product for commercials. In my opinion, it's a completely different thing. And I would of course tell the guy who was uh, buying this photo that it is a composite, but I, I wouldn't talk about it anymore. If somebody would ask me, it's not a secret. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's a, you know, I, I wasn't gonna wait three years to get this photo, you know, for my payday. Weather is so nice now, so I'm gonna finish this outside. Not much to go. I've been talking a lot about uh, composites and uh, I was gonna talk about more, but you know, the video became a little bit long. So I'm gonna leave it here and do, uh, do the rest in, uh, in another video. I'm, I'm gonna post next week. I would love to hear your opinion, uh, your thoughts. 
on this is it cheating to to change skies or do like major composites or is it all good you know comment it in the uh, comment section i don't want to argue just interested in hearing your opinion on the matter if you like my videos please help me you know support my channel by uh, spreading the word share it like it you know subscribe to my channel it is uh, it, it it helps thank you for watching Goodbye.